Hey right, buddy, this I woke up. I had a dream and I'm like, oh wow, I don't wanna do another video. But I was in this dream, I was shown that I have to present, clarify what I said in the prior video because not everybody is following you know, step by step, your stuff from the past. A lot of people are just coming in new. How can you say something and not show what you're talking about? I said, okay, how do I do this? I always pray before I do videos. Now, like I said, this is raw, simple as, as you can get making videos. Now, this is where I've been direct. When I looked at the clock, it was 333 in the morning. And you know the significance. A lot of people know what the significance of that means. Either you're being attacked by the, the forces of Lilith or you're getting a divine vet message from your guardian angels intervent dream oh what's the word pensamiento okay, i gotta make this video as short as possible and just get to the point okay here's here's what i got this is this time i'm looking at this from st louis missouri on uh, april 8th during the eclipse okay this is where the eclipse is going to be located the sun and the moon in the constellation pisces also comet 12p will be in Aries, right above the whale i call it the whale and you got taurus over here you got jupiter over here by aries jupiter and then going downward you got venus also in pisces and the whale so you got alignment of the message I'm still half asleep, so I'm putting this out quick. Okay, so we have Aries. We got the eclipse. We got the comet by Aries. That I guess here's the piece I'm relaying. This is uh, from NASA with the eclipse. Uh, that's why I picked St. Louis because it's it's two o'clock Central Time, right by Cairo. I picked St. Louis because I couldn't zoom it. I tagged this location here by Cairo. So at two o'clock, this is New Madrid fault. There's been a lot of reference. There's been a lot of discoveries of Nineveh. So it's two o'clock central time, which is three o'clock, three o'clock Eastern time, where that Pacific location where the X marks the spot. Why is this important? And I hope my brother Hourly Wash and some others could put this together and make some sense out of this because I'm coming from this from a different angle and he's coming from a def a another angle and all this and everybody else too. There's a, there's a whole bunch of brothers and sisters out there coming in from all sorts of angles, but we're all coming together with our expertise in what we do in this. This is what I wanted to show. Schumann resonance is just went off the scale. It's probably when I woke up. I mean, it's just blasted like an energy wave from where is this coming from? Is it the sun? Is it the center of the universe? Or is it a combination of numerous other, or is this a divine message? Remember, this affects every single cell. It's always good to pray because of the molecules of the water. Your body's 70% water. The planet's over 75% water. If you include the filament, everything. So it's good to pray because if this is a message, you can't stop it. I mean, it goes all the way, every single level, uh, all the way down to the core. The star of Bethlehem, I got. And when Messiah would expire on the cross, because he marched in the stars from before time. I'll leave the link to the video because it, this message needs to get out there because, I mean, this is something that you need, need to add Universe. to the equation. Constellation Aries, I want to show something now. It's going to make you just marvel at God. I want you to picture in your mind the geometry Three o'clock. lunar eclipse. Three o'clock. It's not really very hard. You just have the sun and the earth and the moon. They line up. The earth gets between the sun and the moon and blocks the light. Okay, so they're lined up. When you look at a, a lunar eclipse from earth, the moon gets... But if you were to go to the moon and look back, what'd you see? You'd see the earth coming between you and the sun, wouldn't you? You'd see a solar eclipse. That's the reverse. So I'm going to do something now that I think you'll find interesting. Now, check this out. This is... Uh, this is we're uh, now on the moon. This is major. You're standing on the moon. You're looking back towards the sun, the earth. I want to show you now the moment ice passing. The moment. Look at that. That's 3 p.m. 3 p.m. That's Aries. Now... The constellation Aries at the very instant of Christ. Right here, right there where that pointer is at, that's the exact location where Comet 12P is going to be during the eclipse. Just a little slightly above the exact spot, 3 o'clock Eastern time. Is this a sign? Absolutely. How can I put those these two pieces of this puzzle to I don't know how, but there's somebody out there that knows how to put this and present this and add this to their studies, presentation, ministering, because you're going to save a lot of souls once you put all this together. I mean, you put your stuff together, add this together, add my stuff together, add others together. All the pieces, if we come together, I mean, the picture, the signs are right before our eyes. And I pray. 
I'm praying. <laughs> Before, I, I didn't want to come back. Uh, now I want to pray to be around. Witness this in April. Lord willing, God willing, Jesus, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. That's woken up and making this video. Just throwing it out there. And I hope I make 1%. Like I always said, my mission always is save one and try to bring 1% to the table. This is no coincidence. This is a sign. Then you got all those planets in Pisces and the eclipse happening in Pisces, the fish. What more? This is meant for you. You know who you are. Thank you. God bless. Good night. I mean, good night. It's good morning now. Four o'clock in the morning. Okay. Bye.